Can you feel? Oh! Can you feel? Hey, that's jokes. <laughs> right, guys, welcome back to the second best podcast on planet Earth. Thank you very Factual. much for joining us today yes, on sir. this happy Monday. Monday. Um, we're doing things a little bit different today. We've got a tremendous guest yeah, in the building. So I'm going to stick to what I've been doing the last few weeks. Mm. I'm going to give a humble introduction. So don't open your mouth. Until I finish the introduction, please, sir. Yeah. Okay, cool. As you can tell, the setup's different. Yes. So you might kind of see the yeah. guest yet. James is sitting at different angles yeah. today. So yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> so this guy, yeah. Mm. This guy, I hope he identifies as a guy. <laughs> has been, he's a, he's a real one. He's a good one to have first, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because this bre, I remember, is one of the OG guys in the game. Facts. In the game that we play today, yeah. as far as you, as far as UK podcasting is concerned, mm -hmm. um, this guy is one of the one of the originals. Mm -hmm. uh, has been going for years and has set a precedent for what is considered uh, successful in uh, UK podcasting. Um, he paved the way for a lot of guys such as ourselves to 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 have a, a blueprint to work from and to see what uh, success looks like. Looks like looks like. And um, as far as him as a gentleman, um, he's actually one of the first people. Um, to reach out and just be cool Facts. and be nice to Facts. us. And Facts. then the first time I met him in person was very complimentary. I remember you spoke to him first yeah. and then I didn't say anything to him. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he approached me, came up to me, said, yeah. hi, Wagwan. Uh, I think it was, uh, when was it? I think it was Harry Panera's birthday party. And I was like, oh, that's yeah. nice. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice acknowledgement. Wow. Um, yeah. And ever since then, yeah, you've made loads of effort with us. Um, you've been super friendly to us mm. and uh, welcoming to us. And um, yeah, man. Without any further ado, guys, Tazar Black. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was coming, man. <laughs> I knew something was coming, man. Tazar! <laughs> Tazar, I like I'm, that, I'm playing my bad, G. So, yeah, Tazar Black, guys, welcome into the show. Well, Thank you very much for, ha for coming, bro. Thank Frank you so much. Me, man. Oh, that was a nice intro, man. That was a nice yeah. intro. Bro, it's important. So, yeah, um, yeah well, I've been trying to do it for the last few weeks. I gave everyone an introduction over the last few weeks, and it's important. Um, I think it's important to actually make the effort to express how you truly feel about someone. Um, and it actually makes you feel more excited to spend time with that person. Mm. Most people you just like experience on a day to day yeah. and then you focus on the things that are just like their bad habits or their usual qualities and stuff like that. And then if you were to explain them to someone, if someone asked me to explain Fuhad to a crowd of people, it would make me feel way more positive about Fuhad than I do on a mm. daily daily basis. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do that for everyone that comes in the studio. Love that, man. Um, love and it's, yeah, I'm, I'm not lying as well, bro. All that, all that stuff is factual. No, I love man, I love man. Thanks for having me, man. Uh, thanks for coming, man. Thanks all for being good, here. You were, you were literally one of the first people that said, need to get on the show, need to get on the show. So like, I'm finally happy that we're, we're here, it's live in the flesh. I'm yeah, happy, man. I mean, like you were man. like a what? Third choice, fourth choice? <laughs> so it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I, I know why you're getting I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. It's fine, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Exercising, yeah? yeah. All right, warm up. Um, could have been the fourth choice to be fair. <laughs> fam? Um, so yeah, you. what we're gonna do, before we get into um, the normal, typical interview style, question style stuff, mm. we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, man. So we asked the... Uh, um, our listeners and, and viewers we to streets, yeah we asked the hood what how they feel about yeah. Taserback <laughs> so we've got a bit of a roast we've got some assumptions <laughs> and some questions so, all right cool yes yeah, so how it's gonna pattern is I'm gonna do the roast James is gonna do the assumptions and then you're gonna read out your own questions and answer them yeah all right cool cool okay so it's all on the iPad yeah so your questions are on the iPad but don't read them yet. Okay, cool. I'm going to read the roast first. Yeah. He's going to read the assumptions <laughs> about you. Obviously, you let us know if they're true or false. All right, cool. And then obviously, you read out your questions and you answer them, yeah? Yeah. All good to go. Say less. All right. Whew. I'm glad you got a thick skin, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. You're better than most. Yeah. You're better than most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, 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 roast for Tazar Black. <laughs> <laughs> the Tazar <laughs> killed me, bro. <laughs> Sign out Harry Potter. <laughs> You're wrong. Tazar Black. Sound like a magic. <laughs> yeah, roast for Tazar. I'm sure Taser has at least two black toenails. Swear. Uh, no, maybe one. <laughs> maybe, maybe one, maybe say one. less. Oh, so for context, right? Um, you saw the picture I put up of you on our Instagram story, or did you not? No, no, no. It was one of the, it was, it was in the studio, your studio. You were wearing, I think a brown, like snap trousers, tee, and I think you had a hat on. So just for context, yeah, <laughs> for context. <laughs> 
Bro's got them assistant coach snap pants on. Assistant coach. Assistant coach. Oh, oh I know it's coming again. Yeah, 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 yeah. At any moment. The wrestling ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wrestling ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. He looks like the type of guy that asks for more cheese on his burger. What? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean, bro? It's just funny to me, bro. It's just who's ever asked for more cheese on a burger, bro? Bro, it's just funny to me, bro. He looks like he writes the letter S from the bottom up. Hey. Who even does that? It's the funniest thing I've read. Oh, God. Oh, shit. And they got that from the picture? Yeah, this is all for one this pick. It was a good pick as well. It was a good pick. Oh, I, I thought I thought it would have been. Uh, no, it's it's cool. It would have banged. Let, let them cook. Yeah, let them cook. They cook, they cook to you. Once someone said, "Just who's Taser?" <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who's Taser? You're about to find yeah, out. No, 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 let them know. No, yeah, that was a clapback. That was a clapback. That was a clapback. That was strong. His outfits give him broke boy trying to find an identity. Sorry, G. How many of these we we got to sit through? We got four more. Okay, 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 okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing well. You're doing well. I'm still here. I'm still here. You got thick skin, bro. Taser gets his trim upside down. At least I had a hat on, you know. Got the got the barber cooking down there, you know. Stop! He gets got, his trim yeah. upside bro, down. It bro. Even, it's fu- what is that? What's that? A reverse fade? Yeah. <laughs> like, Fuck! That's the funniest <laughs> thing I've heard. Oh, oh god! Oh, that was a good one. Thinks he has a real deep voice, but really he sounds like Chris Tucker. Oh, dread. Now, to be fair, your voice is deep. Yeah, I don't no, know, but it gets higher when, I, when I'm very passionate. It mm. does go up. Mm. All right, sellers, sellers, sellers. Self aware. I love that. You're so dark. You don't own any bright ideas. <laughs> Okay, I've heard that from um, what's his face, Michael Blackson. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yes, one of his ones. Oh, say less. They said he's so black. So he has no bright ideas. Joke. Yeah, uh, he's, <laughs> he's still in jokes. He's still in jokes. Right, still say in less. Jokes. Right, that, that's roast over. All right, so All right, I've as- got some assumptions. Oh, I'm still here. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's not much better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. The assumptions aren't much better. All right, let's go. Hit me. This bro said, this man's definitely got a lisp. It's it's obviously you don't, but yeah, that's that's the vibes that pick was given off. Picture, fam. (laughs) He looks like oh fuck's sake, hell. He looks like the type of guy that deletes his pics if they don't get enough likes. Do you know what? (laughs) You're right. I I didn't I didn't work this hard to be getting twenty likes. Oh, Oh, say less. Do you know what I mean? Instagram is broken. Yeah, yeah, it's broken. It's not me. It's you. Facts. All right, I haven't read these before now. Right, looks like the type of man that tells a girl he loves her after the second date. Oh yeah, that's very very wrong. Mm. Swear. How many dates have you said? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. How many dates? Mm. Yeah, what one? I'm not saying I love you. You look like you love, fam. Yeah, you You look look like like you love. love. Yeah, you You don't love love. I'm the worst. Oh swear. I'm the opposite. opposite. Toxic. Not toxic, but just savage. Nonchalant. Nonchalant. Okay, say less, say less, say less. I I don't get excited much. Okay. Okay. Mm. Come on, right. He owns black sheets, silk ones too. I, ag- I agree hey. with that. I agree with that. Whoever that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Bro. I do. I, re- I, I was thinking, I think this one's fact. <laughs> <clears throat> he can't go past Nando's without going in for a quick feed. <laughs> what Bro. An animal. A feed. That's a feed, racist you know. remark. A quick feed. Swear. No. All right. He looks like he needs a Bayesian girlfriend. That's a chirps. Yeah, yeah that's a chirps. Yeah, yeah, that's a strong chirps. Thoughts on Bayesian women? Love you them. like Bayesians? Mm. Accent's a bit... It's a bit tough. Like, well, I'll go on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it skyrockets a little bit. <laughs> it's, just, you know, it's a bit... <coughs> right, last one. Taser looks like he eats ass. I don't know why I just get that vibe. That's definitely a free shots listener, boy. Swear. Yeah. Are you eating batty? I don't, but we joke about it. But I don't. I don't think I, I haven't, no. What do you mean you don't think? Now, because I've been down there um, and I might have gone a bit too low. On the Gooch area, yeah. Yeah, cross, oh, cross-contamination yeah, yeah, type. Yeah. I, I might have, I don't uh, know. Say but less. consciously, nah. Unbeknownst to you, it could have been a... a Do you know what I mean? Right, some people's less. are a bit closer, some's are further apart, you know. Say, say less. less. It's how God designed us, you know. Fair so. enough, bro. All right, you're up. Read your questions. Oh, yeah, you got up. questions. It should 
be automatically on the on just the top. open all yeah. right cool there we go question one mm. ask him how his gcse maths went when he was joint top class with that oxford girl first <laughs> of all she went cambridge oh mm. and correction i think i got a b say that b in maths. maths yeah africans are good at maths isn't it i got an a maths yeah, yeah. i i did terribly in maths i loved maths they moved me to the set where you, were, you weren't allowed to get a c and I had to fight my way back up. Foundation. Yeah, they put me in foundation as the <laughs> test. I had to fight my way yeah. back up. Fam, my mom came to school and complained everything. Oh, wow. They were That's like, he can't be in here. <laughs> they won't let you get a C. There's, there's no point doing the class. Oh, you can't get a C. No, foundation, they, you can get C. C is the highest, basically. Nah, I must have been in the, under that one, <laughs> the remedial one. So yeah, bad. our test didn't get, get you a C. Oh, wow. But lucky, yeah, I, I did get a C in the end, but yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Second question, would you date a Jamaican girl? Yeah. Oh, I like the third question. What's it? What does it feel like being the sexiest dark skinned guy within the M25? <laughs> Gang. I feel like I, I wouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> You're outside the M25, no? Facts. See, Facts. I saved you there. Yeah, See what I'm saying? Plotters. Plotters. Yeah, yeah. Plotters. No, I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, it weighs heavy on my shoulders sometimes. Mm, I bet it does. Know. But um, we're here. We're here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Okay, this. Heavy took a while. Took a while. It was a long journey, but we're here. Gang. Why does it feel like Keith and Marv are always picking on Taser? Because they are picking on Taser. Do you know what it is? It's just, I don't care. I'm the friend that doesn't care. So yeah, whenever yeah, they yeah. want to get their jokes off, it's like, okay, cool, Taser, have it. Okay. Plus apparently I do a lot of outlandish stuff that they just don't agree with. So like what? Forever checking me. What's the one that they cooked me for? Um, I had these um, combats here that had long um, drawstrings. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wore them with lubes. Okay. I didn't think it was anything bad, but they caught to me. <laughs> Did you tie the drawstring? No, you let, 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 let it hang. hang. How was it? Like to the knees or how long? Yeah, 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 to the knees. That's, yeah, a that's long, bro. String, that's brother. long. That's a drawstring. <laughs> that's a drawstring. What are we talking wow. about? But it's in now, though. You see, Bear Brand's doing it now, but yeah, I, I did it like it, bro. three years I'm ago. Tie that Fam, my no, but it was just for the picture. Obviously, I don't walk out with it and the drawstring just swing it beside me. <laughs> um, it was just for the picture. Yeah. Them essentials ones are long, bro. You see what I'm saying? I want to wrap it around my waist. Vexes me. They cooked me. I think they said I look like the, um, you know, the characters from the movie Us with the the scissors. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, so like from it. then okay. it's just been like, okay. and then also um, another thing. When I first started going gym, I used mm. to just literally eat tinned mackerel and rice. Raw. Oh. Yeah, struggle food. That's a rem thing. And I don't know why your face is like that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you're getting money now? Is that right. <laughs> Our yard used to stink. Do you remember? Yes, I Every do. morning, this guy would cook up the microwave. It's easy microwave. though. It's like two pound, three pound mm. meal. And it's quick on the go. So mm. I used to bang that out when I didn't have pee. Then I moved to East. And then I took a few tins as I moved in. <laughs> Never touched them again. And all yeah. of a sudden, it's been the c consistent narrative. I'm like, you man, I've upgraded that. Come on, man. Say right, say but that's, yeah, so that's, that's one of them. Movie. Next question. What's your favorite thing to do in your spare time? I'd say go gym, mm -hmm. watch documentaries, mm. and listen to music. What um, documentaries are you watching at the moment? Do you know what's very random, yeah? I just think about something that's happened in life and then just YouTube it. So um, last week I was watching Paris Hilton, like okay. uncovered, like okay. the actual person that she is. Okay. Following her around in her yard is yeah, good. Yeah. She's not who people think she is. Yeah, I've heard okay. she's actually bare smart, you know? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? I, so I heard, I heard I she went into one. Did you hear about the school that she went to when she was younger? Yeah, because her family come from money, innit? Yeah, yeah, I knew that. They yeah. sent her off to some crazy school, bro, when she oh. was a kid. And the school got shut down for something uh, where they literally, like it's for misbehaving kids. Okay. And they literally steal you in the night. They oh, literally wow. take you in your pajamas, put you in the back of a van and then move you to this. And they're like, their tactics what? for like discipline and stuff like that were like solitary and stuff. It's given Handmaid's Tale. Bro, it, it's oh, mad. Wow. It's mad. But she's been through a lot to the point where she doesn't even know who she is. Oh, she just okay. plays so many different Identity characters. Identity crisis. Some, yeah, along those lines. But she's very smart, very okay. business savvy. Her sister claims to be the only person that really knows who she is. Mm. And, she, and then there was a random fact in a documentary that I watched. She's never worn the same outfit twice. That really? doesn't surprise, it doesn't surprise moment, me. Moment. Wow. Yeah, that, Every single yeah. picture is a different. Um, her wardrobe is probably the size of this building. Like it's it's mad. That's insane. Wow. She's got bread. Her bread is long. Yeah, but her bread is Hilton. long. That was what I found interesting. And then recently, I was, I wanted to know what happened between India and Pakistan. And Pakistan. It's a good shout. Mm. Just randomly, because the interesting thing was because basically the, how the conversation started was I have a friend and she was like, where, "Where do I look like I'm from?" You asked her. Or she asked you. She asked me, "Where okay. do I look like I'm from?" Okay, okay, okay. I said, "I'd guess a number of places." Okay. 
But then she stopped me and was like, don't say Pakistan. Okay. I'm not Pakistan, I'm Indian. Okay. I was like, why do you have a beef? Mm. Clearly everyone knows why they had the beef, mm. but they I have a know. beef, sorry. I have no idea. I, don't I have no idea why. It's something beef. to do with like <clears throat> religion, politics. It's, it's a long story, yeah. Okay. But what I was trying to get her to understand that the confusion between Indian and Pakistani girls is a lot of you were displaced, but your location didn't change. Like okay. for example, what's going on right now in Russia? Mm -hmm. Because they believe Ukraine is their land. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I, am I wrong for assuming that a girl who's from Ukraine looks Russian? Yeah, 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 yeah mm, facts. I hear you, I hear you. Because okay. nothing, you didn't move. You, mm. They just claimed this land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but before, yeah. like 10 years ago, this was Russia. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's Ukraine. Yeah. People didn't change. Yeah. So you might look Russian, but you're, you're from Ukraine. Do you know what I mean? So it was that kind of conversation. Mm -hmm. But I just randomly just go on YouTube and search that. Okay. And just. And then just get knowledge on one. Yeah. One. Okay. 20, 30 minutes. I don't like documentaries that are over an hour. Say I less. 30 to 45 minutes. I'm in tune. So it's just random stuff like that. Oh, it's a good day of yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Very inquisitive. All right. Um, you can only save one of us, James or Fuhad. Oh. oh, that's not fair. I didn't ask the question. I just wrote it down, bro. I'm gonna say Fuhad because he's dark skin. <laughs> That's, it's the, fine. that's the only distinction it's I have. It's Besides literally. everything else, like this hair, fine. beard. <laughs> I'll take it's it. Size, fine, everything I'll same. take it. It's just the skin fine. tone. I'll take it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't need saving. That's my answer. <laughs> that's fine. That's jokes. Um, lo uh, second to last question. Highlights and lowlights of 2022. I think highlights will be the R&B and slow jam experience that yeah. me and Chucky have we'll, launched. We'll go deep into that soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's a short answer. Mm -hmm. Um, low. Um, I don't know, man. Okay, when I um, when a cyclist crashed into my car. A cyclist. Yeah, sorry, a guy on a moped crashed okay. into oh, my car. That's what I was gonna say. Um, Uber <coughs> drive. He was a the delivery driver. How did and that didn't speak English. Oh, for God's sake! And but found the English to basically let me know that this is not my bike. This is not my shift. Oh. And I'm not supposed to be in this country, so I'm not insured. Oh, rah. Fuming. Because the, the good man that I am, I helped him up. <laughs> I let him go. And I thought, hold on, I didn't even get his details. Mm. I couldn't be, I was so angry. Mm. And do you know what pissed me off? As I'm helping him up here, yeah, mm -hmm. a car's driven by, this is in Streatham, man. A car's driven by, wind, wound the window down. Your taste, you good? I'm like, oh, oh my. Allow it. It's two in the morning. Oh, Swear. Oh. Yeah. I've got back into my car, but my wing mirror is gone. And I've got the same car. The wing mirror is not cheap. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> it cost bars. me about, it cost me four figures to fix. Wing oh, mirror. Did it? Bro, you know the wing mirrors on oh. our cars is not cheap. Yeah, they're, they're serious, but four figures, bro. Yeah, because I had, to get the I had to get the wing mirror, I had to get the door panel, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. the back door, the part of the door is connected to the front. Oh, so it's the whole, oh uh, yeah, yeah, brother, bridge. Four figures to fix. Wow. And I, and I was just going on holiday, Cancun. So I dropped the car off before I went to Cancun with the man there. And then when I got back from Cancun, the car was fixed. It was just a, such a cash loss that it was unnecessary, but I'm alive. Damn. We move. Say less. Yeah, we do Last that. question. What is your body count? <laughs> One. My daughter's mum. Hey. hey. Come on. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Man. Yeah, easy. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, man, now, now we're here. You feel a bit more relaxed. Yeah, yeah man. You're yeah, part man, of the show now. Ice is broken. Ice is very much broken. We're moving on to a part called the origin story now. Mm -hmm. So this is where you just tell us how Taser Black was formed. So talk to where, yeah. where, what was the birth of Taser Black? Yeah, um, let's start. Actually, yeah. let me give you like a pinpoint to actually start from. Mm. Um, where actually, I'm gonna go way back. Okay. Cause cool. I actually know fuck all about you as a part, away from what I see every mm. day. Mm -hmm. um, so free shots, people are gonna be bored as shit, mm -hmm. but calm, there's like four of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, where did you where did you grow up in London? Yeah, yeah, Northwest London. Okay. Um, an estate called Mitchell Brook, and then at sixteen, I moved to an estate called Set Raffs. Still in North as well. Yes, yeah, still in Northwest. Okay. Across the road from each other. Okay. You have siblings. Four, a sister and three brothers. I'm the eldest. You're the eldest. Ah. Yeah, so it's me, ah. my sister, and then my brothers. Okay, okay gang. Yeah. All right, calm. So, <clears throat> born here as well. Yeah, all uh, born here. Where are you from? Nigeria. Born Park Royal Hospital, Northwest, Central Middlesex. All right, gang. Yeah. So like, from what we see from you is like very, and this is actually quite different to, I'd say most people identify these days as like um, entrepreneurs, 
but I would say, don't get guessed, you're actually one of the only people mm. who I actually think <laughs> moves that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Without okay. saying it, I've never heard you say that word. Mm. Yeah. But you move your your movements move like it. Okay. So I was actually having a conversation about you to someone a few weeks ago, and I was like, "This brother does too much. Mm -hmm. I don't understand busy. why he's working he's so hard. Always busy. The guy yeah. makes money. Just sleep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I sleep. That's yeah, what I mean. Bro. I actually do sleep. But uh, so where was like, <clears throat> where do you can you identify a time, whether growing up or in adulthood, that you had this urge to be a little bit more entrepreneurial, to be interested in business? Um, yeah. Um, I think where can I start? My, maybe my dad. Mm. My dad was like a import exporter. Okay. So, but I always used to see my dad buying and selling something. Mm -hmm. Either he's buying it in bulk from here or buying it from Asia, I think shipping every it to Nigeria. Nigeria. Does that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah there's yeah, only yeah. some things to some, buy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like one yeah. time, um, do you remember? Do you remember thirty three tens? Of course. Nokia mm, phones. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when they first hit the market, my dad walked into my house with like two thousand of them. Jesus. So yeah, he take, never. What? He, listen, I had a different phone like every other week because he would just bring out the next phone. This is the 3210. In that box is the face off with the antenna. Mm, mm. Then I had the 8250, the banana phone, the Matrix. Like, but that had every single one of them Nokia's wow. just, just coming through the house. Mad. So, but obviously the aim was to buy and sell, buy and yeah, sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think I kind of adopted it there where it's just like, Nah, this, this guy's getting. I didn't. I didn't ever see the money. Mm. By the way, I ain't gonna lie to you. You just saw. I just saw stuff. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah come yeah, and go. Yeah, yeah. You saw yeah. stuff come and go. Yeah, yeah. So then, um, mm. at sixteen, my dad has paid for all of us to go to Nigeria for summer holiday, and then he took us to like the village where he grew up. Mm -hmm. Then a couple roads down, he showed us what he's been essentially spending his money on mm. some fat mansion that mm. he's been building for like the past ten years. Okay, so I was like, rah, and he was basically like, yeah. So this is where we we're planning on moving. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? What? He wants to meet the whole family there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. allow it. Said, no, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's imagine or no what? imagine. Yeah. No, 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 no. So I think from then, but this is obviously hindsight. I'm looking, thinking back, yeah? yeah. I think from then I'm just like, nah, I've got to kind of get it on my own. Mm -hmm. So I think 18, I asked my dad for some money because I wanted to start something. Okay. And he said no. And okay. I've never asked my dad for money since then. Oh. 18 Bro. was the last time I asked my dad for money. Wow. I've never asked him for money since. And uh, when did you, so when did you move out? On my, on, my, on my mom's. Mm. So, but it's, it's, it's a longer story. So my dad got himself into a bit of trouble. I've discussed this on the pod. Mm. So he left my house around, I think 21, 22. Mm -hmm. So technically I was the head of the house. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was weighing heavy on my shoulders, okay. but I never really showed it to anyone. So I looked yeah. at it as my mom lived with me. I took okay. on the responsibility of the bills, looking after my um, siblings. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 was, it wasn't even, I wouldn't say it was hard. It's yeah. just, I just did it. Yeah. I just yeah, did it. Just and before you things. knew it, I was 23, yeah. finished uni, looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Then started doing Faded. Mm -hmm. Straight after uni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Faded okay. is Faded's gonna be 11 years <laughs> this month. Right. Yeah. I never would've known. Yeah, 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 11 I years. I thought it was not new, but like not that old. No, you know 11 I mean? years, yeah. Oh, and same, same business partner as well, me and Matthew. Same how, did, how did that start? Yeah. We used to go to another night called Yo-Yo's in Notting Hill. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And sick vibe and okay. there was one time they did like an adidas party and they invited like i wouldn't call them influencers but that's the at the time yeah, yeah, yeah i don't yeah. know what you'd call <clears throat> them but just people who were popular yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so the venue held about 20 220 people mm -hmm. i probably said hi to about 180 and i saw it as i can do one of mine mm. this is this is like i, I know everyone in there yeah mm. and he said the same thing as well he said hello to about 180 years it was just mm. like but we know everyone like mm -hmm. let's do our own nights so I started off by doing a house party in my house, the current house that my mom's living in, and it banged. I think okay. it was my 21st or maybe 22nd. Then I, I paid some girl that lived in Woolsden High Road 80 pounds to use her yard for the Saturday night. As I said, use this to go out raving. Mm. Let me just use your flat. Because she was moving out anyway, so oh, the okay. house was yeah, empty. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And we had about, I charged a pound on Gang. the door. Gang. At the end of the night, I had 326 pound in that key. Mad. Like, there was no way 326 yeah. people came to this party. <clears throat> but I'm like, nah, you man, I'm, I'm gonna take this event thing seriously. So then obviously just shopping around, um, decided on a, a pub in East called, I don't think he's even there anymore, but it used to be called Riven Factory okay. on, in Whitechapel. Hired it for my birthday. I think this was my 23rd birthday, yeah. That was because my birthday is the first faded. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. In 2012. Okay. And 350 people rammed it out and 
it was around that time, remember, you couldn't really hear Jay-Z, Meat Mill, French Montana, all of that in the clubs. Mm. But we were playing that. Okay. Because it was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the music that we listen to in my yard. Mm-hmm. This is what mm-hmm. I want to party to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And everyone just bought into it. And literally, that year was probably a great year for us. Bear in mind, the year we started, we weren't, you weren't allowed to sell tickets online. There was, oh. no, there was no infrastructure for tickets oh, online. Oh, mad. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah. <coughs> hand-to-hand yeah. or relying on you lot saying you're coming and then paying on the door. Mm. So that's how okay. I started. But I missed the window of going to other people's raves and flying outside. Mm. I missed that window. Yeah, I, yeah. I I I kind of started around the window of WhatsApp broadcasts. Okay. And um, MySpace, and Facebook. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of window I started in. Okay. And then um, yeah, just kept doing it, kept doing it, and then in regards to, to the event space, just kept adapting. Okay. So okay, cool. This is this is the party lane. Let's do something for the comedians. People that like comedy. Started doing live comedy shows. Then we've done that. The, you know, that I don't know if you lot have realised there's this new... It's not even new, but I wouldn't say we started it as well because shout out Ori, actually, because Ori actually did it um, the first night that I remember where you go to a, a bar and you play games. Oh. He was the first one that I know that did it. Um, Connect Four, Cards, yeah, 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 Super yeah. Nintendo, yeah. Okay, okay. So we took that formula and then started it in Shoreditch. Okay. The venue that's called Bawley Ballers and now it used to yeah, be called yeah. Far Rockaway. Mm. Okay. And we took over that venue used to fill it out literally every Sunday about seven to 800 people Mad. throughout the whole summer. People would go box park, after box park, they'd come in there. Mad. Killed that summer. Unfortunately, the owner of that venue wasn't paying his rent. Mm. So he lost the venue. We got kicked out, had to move to Dalston and it just didn't continue. It didn't do as yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't mad. continue. Um, <clears throat> funny story, with Faded, there was a part where we were banned from like Hackney. Right. Got, every venue was just saying no to us. Okay. So we actually did a campaign where this is faded coming to an end in the UK. Okay. Done the last event in uh, a venue called um, Connect in Victoria. It's near Pasha. And that summer, we started doing international dates. So that's what we started doing Amsterdam, started doing Barcelona, mm. and then we did Croatia. But then the funny thing about venues is every bar manager just moves around. Okay. So, they, so they just go from one venue to the so, other. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. they will, in the industry, they will know each yeah, other. Yeah, so technically, of so course. when he gets another venue, they'll give us a phone call. Oh, hey, guys, come check out my venue. Mm. See if you lot can do a night. And mm. me and Matthew are thinking, ain't we banned in this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the Curtain Hotel took a punt with us and allowed us to do nights there, but then told us we, had, we couldn't call it Faded. Mm. So that's where we gave birth to Refresh. Okay. So Refresh became Faded Sister. Okay. So faded is where you can come and dress like this. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. refresh, you dress up a bit more, but you okay. listen to R and B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then we had faded and refresh r- running side by side. But then as we we got older, so mm. now we're twenty seven, twenty eight. I realized I prefer to party at refresh as opposed to faded. Mm. Mm. So refresh is where I get more excited. Okay. Because faded is just it's just doing there. his thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then refresh had a year where we moved into the Curtain Hotel and we had like a a, um, a business model that just worked. Mm. guest list only kind of thing okay oh my god anybody who went refresh yeah will tell you that's probably one of their best nights really Swear. but we've had crept come through conan stormzy maya jamar cadet rest in peace like so many people came through this building yeah. to pump a party in this hotel at the time it was so sick gang and then the reason why we stopped was kind of around lockdown yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything just messed yeah. up. Okay. Jesus, okay. bro. Yeah. Busy guy. Bro, so that's bro. banging. So when you're, when this is all building, <clears throat> so when Faded's building is started off and you're doing, obviously, let's call it from your 23rd birthday. Yeah, yeah. What were you doing other source of income wise? Were you working a normal job? Mm. <laughs> so funny story. I used to work for a company called Provident, yeah, and I was a debt collector. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the the idea, the reason why I started that job is, um, so like I said, I was the head of the house, so mm-hmm. I had to do the school run. Yeah. I'm taking my little brother to school. Okay. I don't have a job. My mom's telling me to wake up seven thirty to get ready to take my brother to school, mm-hmm. yeah, only yeah. to come back to bed. Like I didn't understand, but I was always up early. Mm-hmm. And then one day I bumped into one of my f- um, old friends. She has a child that goes to that school, mm-hmm. but she does the school run, goes to work, and makes it back in time to pick up her door. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what do you do? Do, yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, Taser, if I tell you, you won't believe, you, it. You won't believe yeah. me. Yeah. I said, tell me. She tells me. I said, how much are you making? She was on about eight dollars a week. Swear. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Exactly. And this is in school hours. Yeah. Exactly. Good, so she's bro. locked up by she three. Fi- she's done. She finishes her shift. She does her starts her shift at like 10, finishes by two. I'm like, what? But she she's goes, making eight bills a week. a week. That's three to a month. <laughs> no, but, but, no, <laughs> but, do part time. no, but do you know it gets worse? She does one day a week. Nah. How, nah, nah, nah. But listen nah. to what I'm saying. <laughs> she does one day a week because she's patterned her thing to the point where 
she goes round and does her rounds once, once a week. A week. Oh, yeah. say Obviously, less. So when I started, I've started yeah. fresh. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to be on her level already. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've had to, so I'm like, all right, cool. First of all, I know what kind of job I'm doing. Yeah, I yeah. don't want one that's local to my area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to go to someone's house and their mum is telling me that I don't have the 10 pounds today. Can you come back tomorrow or next week? Mm. And I'm like, I know your son, he blew a hundred pound at fading last yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, want yeah. that. So let me yeah, just yeah. go to an area that's non-existent to me. So I picked an area in West London. They gave me that book and then I had to go through the book and start processing. Meeting my clients, I start building a relationship. I'm going to their houses and I'm like, I can see that you've taken out a grand loan. You currently still owe 500 pound. How are you going to work here? They're like, well, I normally pay five pound a week. I said, five pound a week? You think I'm gonna be coming to your house to collect five yeah, pounds every week? Yeah, bruv. But that's the kind of like relationship. Yeah, 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 people, yeah. The one, the, the, um, the person before, before you, me. Yeah, was doing, yeah. So I'm going around, going around, going around, and it's all adding up now. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I was on about three bills a week. Okay. Building, building, building. And then I had one client who was giving me 600 pounds. I think the idea was whatever you collect, you take 10%. I was going to oh, okay. say, I was going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's, it's sense, a premium. Yeah. You know, like yeah, when you yeah. go to them payday loans on, mm. on the high road, yeah. it's a premium. They yeah. give you a, a grand, they probably expect you to pay back two and a half. Mm. Fucking But hell. it's across like a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was doing that, doing that, doing that. And I think I went to one woman's house and she always invited me in for coffee. Oh, I'm just like, ma'am, can you just give me the free palm, please? Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't need to come in. Please come in. Let me make you a cup. Oh, tell me about your day. I'm like, oh, I ain't got. But I had to be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I couldn't keep doing that. Like okay. it was, it was, it was draining for me. Mm. You have to, you have to kind of be a piece of shit. Excuse my French to to work that kind of yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So then, but for some reason, my friends they were happy. Mm. As in the woman, the girl that got me the job. Her clients were happy, go lucky. Like, mm. I understand this is how I have to get the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're welcoming when she comes over, she's mm. in, she's out, da, da, da. With me, I have to build mine. And yeah. I'm just like, mm. relationship, the rapport. after three months, I was like, I can't do this no more, man. So I went back to work where you kind of drop off the, the bag and the manager was a piece of shit anyway. I'll punch him off if I see him, you know. <laughs> like, you know. You know them men that are just like slimy. Like, oh, yeah. facts, bro. Slimy guys, man. It was one of them. So I just said, oh, I don't even want this job no more. You're not going to get a job elsewhere. Really? Oh, them <laughs> ones. Oh. Them ones. Really? Them kind of guys. So um, I left that, but I did that temporarily because um, I had a Vauxhall Astra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as my second car. But my, uh, as in the second car I drove, but my first car, mm -hmm. and for an idiot, like an idiot, I got a 1.8. Swear. So the petrol was key. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. So I, I, I used to drive it to Faded, park way around the corner. <laughs> I didn't walk, to, walk faded. to Faded. But then after a while it was like, now I got a car, let me use it. Mm. But the petrol's killing me, killing mm. me. I need another job now. Faded wasn't really, because there's some months where Faded, I make three bills. That's yeah, lasting yeah. me the whole month. And there's some Faded's where I'll make a grand. Yeah. Mm. So I was literally just, literally check by check by yeah. check. Some it's Faded's tough. would do two Faded. So I'm expecting a grand twice. And mm. unfortunately it didn't go the way we planned. So yeah. I've only taken on eight bills or something. It was kind of like going like that until we just kept going. And then yeah. here we are today. Oh, sick. Mm. So when did, yeah. um, so talk me timeline. So we're doing Faded. From 2013. From 20, yeah, 2012, 2013, yeah. moving on. Um, when did your second, so three shots? Yeah, so three shots started 2016. 2016. Okay. April, 2016. Is this your second like business venture? Business venture? Um, outside of outside events? Of events yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. How did that start? So um, Marvin Keith had um, a radio show on on Top FM, and they had the timeline in a chokehold. Okay. Like anybody who knows about On Top will tell you, Marv Keith and there was another guy, Rob, had the timeline on a chokehold every Sunday. Okay. Every, I never looked into this show, by the okay. way. I don't know why, because I was out on a Sunday, but mm. if you were at home, you would tune into this show. So many people know about this show. But anyway, that's how they kind of like done their thing and built their following, and I guess, had one foot in into that like this media space yeah mm -hmm. so but I, and i started talking to them rob had a thing called the dirty games men play mm -hmm. and then he used to do a live event where women and men would debate and i was like i want to get involved in that i like mm -hmm. these kind of conversations mm -hmm. cool started going to these events but i couldn't bring a crowd my crowd just didn't seem to it didn't cross over yeah okay. with him and i'll be honest and say that i actually went in there and said let me do my thing let me start up but i'll build to the point where we join our crowds my okay. crowd just didn't come for some reason so that taser, we got to let it go. I said, no problem. And then Keith was like, yo, I see you want to do that thing. Have you heard mm. of podcasting? Mm -hmm. mm. Like, What's that? I, like, I want to do YouTube. Mm. He's like, no, no, check out podcasting. My sister's kind of spoken to me about podcasting. It looks like something that we can get, actually get into. Plus Chucky does it. I'm like, oh yeah, snap. Yeah, yeah. 
oh yeah, Chucky's got um, half cars. All right, cool. Called Chucky. I said, Chucky, let me come to one of your episodes and see how it, see how it works. Went on there, brother. It was so easy. I said, huh? This is what you lot do? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting involved, man. <laughs> got the st- And then the engineer at the time was Savage Dan. But remember, back okay. then, he yeah, was... Yeah. Um, he didn't have an identity. Yeah, he was yeah. just a voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember, when we started podcasting, there was no visuals. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, everyone's yeah. like, who's this guy's voice? He's on Filthy. Just hear his voice. Yeah, He's on yeah, my, yeah, our yeah. podcast. He features on a couple other podcasts. Yeah. You just hear his voice. Yeah. But he was the engineer. That's why he was always there. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So then... Um, and I knew him. I've known Dan since, like, I was 14. Oh, swear. Oh, yeah. He's from West London. Yeah, and yeah. I went, my school kind of borders West London. So that's how I know a lot of man from West. So I've known Dan. I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, we're going to use your studio. He's like, yeah, no problem. Just shout when you're ready. Started committing to using Dan's every two weeks mm. when we started Free Shots. Every two weeks. But it literally picked up the moment we dropped the first episode. Oh, really? really? But there was no building. God. We, we just literally said, all right, cool. We're going to try this new thing. Picked a date. Dropped the link on that date. 7,000 first day. Listen, oh, SoundCloud. must be nice. Bro. Must have been brave. <laughs> yeah, 7, must 000. be nice. Bro, it was just, it, bro, I, oh. but we didn't, we didn't know who to compare it to. Yeah, we didn't, yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah, yeah. are telling us we're buying listens. I'm like, I don't know what metric to measure. Yeah, I just yeah, know yeah. that the 7,000 here, amazing. Like, yeah. it is what it is. People are just hating on us, hating on us. But mm. because of the hate, more people want to know what are you like. Yeah, facts, on? bro. Hundred percent. That's facts, what facts, always happens. Facts, facts. I think we hit fifty thousand after like two months. Oh, your mum, bro. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, it was just moving mad. It was just, bro, it was just moving mad. In yeah, the yeah. When we hit a mil, I was like, "There's no way a million people is listening to man. There's yeah, no yeah. way." But we started going out more. Okay. Just bumping into people. Yeah. I heard this. I heard that. Like even just now downstairs, someone mm. in the lobby walked past me and goes, "Taser, that thing you did in McDonald's was a mad thing." I just thought, like, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Like people listen, but you yeah. don't. They, they're not gonna come up to you and tell you. Of course. But for us in the beginning, it was like that. So I was like, you know, what, this is sick. Mm. So then I think after about a year, it was no, sorry, the beginning of that year, we done the decided to do a live show. The end of that year. So that was like November, December. Announced the first date, tickets sold out. We did a venue called Sync in Shoreditch at mm. the time. 200 mm. tickets, sold out in a day. Okay. Yeah. I said, let's announce another date, yeah. sold out. Let's okay. announce another date, sold out. So we did three dates every other week. Mad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But then yeah, the yeah. format was like, wait, what, what, what is the format of a live show? Mm. I said, let's just get on the front and just talk. Mm-hmm. And it worked, people loved it. So then we went into the next year, like confident, all right, cool, this pod thing makes sense. Let's keep going. Question. So it's cut you off. Would you say that was the first like live podcasting thing you went to? Yeah. Your first show was your first live podcasting thing you went yeah, to. Yeah. Mad. First time I even had heard yeah. of anybody podcast wise talk about doing a yeah. show. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mad. The first or, before it was like meet and greets. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Or an audience with. Mm. But it wasn't live show. Yeah, because I wouldn't even know what blueprint to go off. Bro, I was, I was yeah. watching Joe Budden religiously. Big yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a sign. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. nothing on their end. So I was like, then there's no other podcast. Like, Tax Stone mm. was doing their thing, The Read. But okay. there was no one that was giving me, like, an event. And I come from an events background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Facts. like, bro, like, I mean, you, know, you, you must know, the first six, seven months of podding, there's no bread coming. Yeah, it's dying. Uh, Fam? Six, seven months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, we, yeah we were stuck for let's a minute, Let's do events to try and make a little yeah, bit of yeah, bread, yeah. like recoup this yeah. studio money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Petrol money, like mm. people think it's a joke, but committing to doing a pod at the time, obviously now I think some people can actually just start off with a brand partnership. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Brand, the brands already now. paid them, and so it's not yeah, the same as going to the studio with no money being generated mm-hmm. and just recording and giving you content. Mm. And remember, we're giving out three hours content, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you man talk, to be fair. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When we started seeing all these new podcasts coming out, oh yeah, here's our new episode, I'm seeing 30 minutes. I'm like, hey, we ain't even done our intro by yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> right. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, because it's so second nature to us, we don't actually mind. So then when things started even getting more, like there became more of an infrastructure, mm. we're seeing the prices for what people are asking for for 20 minutes. I'm like, but I'll give you three hours for, f- for times nine yeah, yeah essentially yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that the metric yeah. mm. remember even joe Biden went through that problem as well he's like mm. you're like paying x amount for albums but i'm essentially giving you an album every week yeah every yeah, yeah. Week kind of thing. So yeah, how's yeah. the metric not the same yeah right guys we're just going to take a very quick break to pay some bills right so listen up spring has finally sprung and our friends at manscaped the leaders in below the waist grooming grooming Below the waist freaking grooming have the best tools for some spring cleaning in your, you guessed it, pants. Trust me, your confidence will be blooming like the flowers. 
Look your best this spring and join the other 8 million men, guys. It was seven last month. It's eight. eight now, your bro. boys are doing consistent reads and it's gone from seven to eight. When we started, I'm pretty sure it was like two. Two, yeah. Because we, had, we were saying two million men, four million balls, I remember. Yeah, bro. And now it's eight million men, 16 million balls, yeah. give or take. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that joke. Join the other 8 million men who can trust Manscaped. And all you need to do is go to manscaped.com. Use the code SNG. Sierra November Gold. And they're going to get 20% off and free shipping worldwide. Right, let's get back to the episode. <laughs> but yeah, that's the conversation for another day anyway. But Mad. So that's how free shots kind of took off. And yeah. then... So you taser... Not taser, sorry. Keith and Marv knew each other separately before you... Yeah, they were yeah, working together yeah, yeah, before. Okay, All right, okay. gang. Okay, cool, man. Mad. So now we've got... Faded. Faded on, on the books. Free shots on the books. What was the next venture? Was it the old school or was it 40s? Old school is last year. So it would have been... I was only a year old. Yeah, we did oh, like no. two in during lockdown, the pandemic. Okay. Nothing to discuss. But it, that's what kind of let us know that this is going to work. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And then we just started hitting the ground running. What was the first one? I Where think was it the was the first major um, one? Uh, it's a, I get the dates mixed up. There was one that we done October. Okay. 2021. Yeah. During lockdown. Yeah. That had about 200 people, but yeah. it banged because it was like the idea of just hearing R&B slow jams yeah. all night. Yeah, yeah. Bro, mad. Yeah. Lang. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. So everyone, everyone was like, didn't know what to expect. Mm. But then when you got there and you're just singing and drunk and vibes yeah. in, it's like, no, oh, this can work. It's a karaoke vibe. Just yeah, yeah. 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 banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we did Amazing Grace. Okay. There's a venue in uh, London Bridge. The venue's beautiful, but if you pack it out, it is hot. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. Imagine. So the first one we did there went well. Did another one in there went well, but we started seeing more guys. Man, they started clocking out. Right, hey, there's babes there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we said we've outgrown this venue. So then we went to site five. Okay. That's the if you see the footage, um, it's like a colorful venue in um, East mm. okay. outdoor space. Mm -hmm. That was the one that everyone said, nah, these men are onto something. Okay. And we we did uh, I think eight hundred people day party gang and that's the one that was like all right cool let's take this thing seriously okay so then end of the year with halloween yeah where we brought out donnell jones oh yeah i remember, I remember that one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that was the one that we couldn't make it to yeah right? yeah that's yeah, the one yeah. Croydon. Croydon. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 i was livid yeah, 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 yeah. and then ended the year with um alternate okay yeah oh wow. yeah alternate fair nice Sick. nice nice, nice. 1600 people location. gang road yeah Mad. and then Obviously, this year is just like we announced from the beginning of the year, we're going to try and hit 10 cities mm. this year. Mm. So far, we've done Brum, Manny, and then we've got Leeds coming up. End yeah, this yeah. Month. yeah. Sick, you, you bro. You're killing it. And you're trying, you're man. selling out quick. Yeah, bro. man. Yeah, I mean, they're doing well, it's bro. It's a nice vibe. You've not been there. So yeah, you know, we've yeah, been twice yeah, now, been and twice. it's banging. You're selling out quick. Yeah, bro. I was vexed we didn't go to the Manchester one the other day. Yeah, yeah bro, you, man, are killing it. Trying, so, man. yeah. So, okay. like, at this point, so then you've got, how did 40 start? So 40 started back in the day, 2009, um, again. 2000 and what? Yeah, 2009. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said nine, my he brain just, said 19. Yeah, no, 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 nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was trying oh, gibberish. Yes, talk to us about that. <laughs> I, was like, I was at uni when I started 40s. Um, wow. I started 40s the same year, or the, or the same year or year after Benja. Me and Benja grew up on the same estate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Benja was my like, oh, let me not gas him. <laughs> Big bro, I was yeah, going yeah. to no, say mentor, but you'll yeah. get gassed. Yeah. He was like a like, big bro in it. Yeah, so, yeah. But we come from the same estate, the same mud, basically. We've okay. seen the same things, basically. And I remember he was um, doing Benja out of his um, polo. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to he's gonna laugh when I say this here, but basically we found out something together. Okay. And then we basically exploited it together. Okay. And it allowed us to kind of give birth to our brands. Okay. But I lost the motivation, so I stopped 40s, whereas he continued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I went into events. Events. Yeah. So I had 40s there, sold a bunch of hoodies. Some mm. people still have their hoodies till now. From nice. Yeah, the stuff. quality that I went for back then was crazy. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm, I take pride in the quality yeah. now. Yeah, 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 for sure. Gang, I love that. So, um, so I had that then, but 4T stands for True Talent Takes Time, and it's also the names of me and my siblings. So I'm yeah. Toba. My sister's Timmy, my brother's Toby and Tammy. Four mm. nice. T's. Love that. And then obviously the new addition, my li next little brother is Temmy and hopefully he can have his company called Five T's because my dad's company was called Three T's. Okay. Oh, sick. Yeah, so the company that he was doing import export, yeah, he was training yeah. under Three T's. Okay. Yeah, because there was only three of us. And then when he had another son, I you thought, you know what, let me do four T's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how that came about. Oh, man. Um, and then this year, obviously the last year was going well. And I said, you know what, let me bring something back because I kind of want to diversify my portfolio. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm doing events, I'm doing podcasting, I'm mm. doing content creation. Let me sell merch. Yeah. 
That's when I thought, let me bring 40s back. Okay. And that's how I kind of revamped it. So the first logo, that you, the one that you always wear, yeah. is the logo from 2009. Man. I thought, let me hit them with that and then I'll then then give them again. Yeah, with this okay. one. Okay, so how long did it take for the for the rebranding of this one? Because obviously you dropped this not too long ago. This, yeah, this yeah, so I didn't want to leave that logo. Okay. But then I started looking at it and thinking, would someone pick this up to go raving? Okay. That's how I was looking at it. Mm. Okay. You can't explain what it says. I, okay. I, and, and I know we don't know like, Gucci or yeah, Balenciaga, yeah. all of them brands there, we wear it pride. Mm. But for some reason, when it comes to UK brands, there's a bit of a, mm, I've got to know the person. Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, so I thought, you know, let me make it a bit more presentable mm -hmm. and then maybe people start wearing it. So mm -hmm. that's how I kind of changed the logo and thought, let me make it more modern. A okay. lot of um, brands nowadays are going for this like straight mm. from the neck down yeah, to yeah, the yeah, rim yeah, 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 yeah. type design. I thought, let me do that. But that one did well. It's doing well. It's yeah, still it is, selling. It is, People it like the quality. Yeah, the quality's buff. Thank quality's you, buff, thank you. So yeah. um, that's why I brought that back. But okay. I'm not trying to do it as if I'm trying to build a brand mm. for now. Mm. I'm just a guy with an idea and I sell it. So I'm probably going to drop like three or four capsules a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until it gets to the point where it's like, all right, cool. Let's turn it into a brand. Whereas you've got other brands that will do like a new capsule every month. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. Mine's just literally three, four designs every year. Okay. If you like it, come fuck with me. If not, yeah. then all right, cool. So where... This is a complete throwback. Where did the name Taser come from? Um, school, year eight, year nine. There was a, um, an MC battle apparently <laughs> going to take place in the playground. <laughs> and Everyone knows about them secondary school <laughs> battles, yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. You had to come with the and bars. I, and I had bars. Like, <laughs> I, st I still got the um, fucking bars from like year nine. I've still got them in my mum's house. Like, I was looking at them the other day. Bare people. I used to write bars. I've got bare pieces of paper. Yeah, dro drop a quick four on the spot. Quick four. Quick four, quick four. I got a bar. If you don't know Taser, ask about Taser. The that boy Merkin, AKA Taser. Dark skin Taser, log on to Taser. I'm interactive, just type in Taser. The girls don't call me, man like Taser. Slang did that, did that, did that from Taser. Shock him out in the lower back with a Taser. If you want to clash Taser, just dial Taser. Come, Come on, man. Come on. Hey. Come on. Off the go. Go. Man didn't even hesitate. He <laughs> yeah, loved yeah, to yeah. say it. Do what? Do Fuck. what? Yeah, Taser, Taser, <laughs> Taser, Taser, Taser. <laughs> Slinging the back with Taser, <laughs> laser, laser, Taser. Yeah, damn. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'm outside. Okay. But, um, yeah, so there was supposed to be a battle in the classroom, yeah. uh, sorry, in the playground. In the playground. And they were like, yeah, if you're interested, just, just come to the playground, do the jump in. I'm mm. like, but I ain't got a name. Mm. The first thing that came to mind was Bionics. I said, Bionics, why? But I don't know, but I honestly <laughs> couldn't tell you. But then wow. someone told me, yo, big um, nasty crew, their DJ is called Bionics. I'm like, oh, I can't go with Bionics. But then there's a guy called Laser from my estate. So um, if okay. you listen to North Weezy, the, the guy at the end, okay. um, it's it's uh, Laser from the North Weezy and we got things on lock with no door keys. He's from my estate as well. Okay. So I said, you know what? He's my favorite MC right now. Laser, Scrap put the, the T, yeah. Taser, oh yeah, let's go. Boom, okay. that's how Taser was born. Okay. And the black was literally, literally, on MySpace I was Taser Dan. Okay. When everyone transitioned to Facebook, yeah, yeah. Dan wasn't long enough for a surname on Facebook. Oh, rah. Okay. So they're like, three letters is not enough. Okay. So I was going to use my last name. I was like, that doesn't nah, make sense. Really pattern. <laughs> black, my favorite color. Okay. Tays are black. Man. Because um. until you said your name like 20 minutes ago, I know you as Taser. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like majority of people know you as Taser as opposed to like, you're, obviously we say our names on the pod, like we don't have aliases like that, but... Yeah, that's that's. But crazy. Um, but you know that it's funny that you say that, yeah, because I'm not actually. People think that it's because I'm embarrassed about my name, I'm or not, okay, okay. But people yeah. don't understand. Yeah, it's yeah. not my, like my mum, my nan, my dad, my daughter. Everyone calls me Taser. Swear. Yeah. So so look when you when you hear Taser, look at it as it's my first name, yeah. Yeah, not yeah, a yeah, slang yeah, yeah. or nickname. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Toba still like Toba Akande is my name. Mm. Yeah. Full name Olua Toba Akande. Mm. I'm not shy to say mm -hmm. it, but people just assume that. Are you giving me your road name? I'm like, yeah. oh, babes, I'm not giving you my road name. I'll give you my name, baby. Everyone calls yeah, me Taser. My nan calls me Taser. <coughs> mm. back, back home, Nigeria. Yeah. Hello, Taser, are you all right? <laughs> that's <laughs> mad, that's bro. That's you know what I mean? So it's actually like my first name. But um, that's how Taser was born. Nah, sick man. Yeah. That's a that's the that origin story yeah, was buff as well. That's a buff origin yeah, 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 story. That's a buff you, you, got, you, you've you got played different it. avenues, boy. Bro, what's what's, what's trying, like man. what are your thoughts moving forward in terms of like business side? Because you're doing like Obviously, so we've got events, we've got podcasting, mm -hmm. you're doing one extra stuff. Do merch. Merch. Do content creation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're branching out content-wise as well, which I liked. Yeah. I yeah just, your TikTok's just, popping. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's hard work. See, yeah, it's hard work. Hey, listen, <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy, man. But um, do you know what it is? I shoot content all the time. And, and anywhere you see me, any 
I'm always very big on can I be myself? Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to act and be someone else just because I have a following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I have a following is because I've been myself. Yeah. So as long as whoever I'm working with understands that and allows me to be me, cool, let's go. So then was working with Just Hype for about a year and they were allowing me to be me with Mm -hmm. the Taser Black Helpline. And the content from that was actually, it was actually, when you get people's dilemmas, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I've been doing that from like MySpace days, just throwing out a question or even on BBM, throwing out a question on my status and yeah, then yeah, 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 engage. Yeah. I've always nice. been that kind of person, just engage okay. and get feedback. Okay. Well, what would you do if this happened? What would you do if that happened? What if, I, I just love engaging with people, mm-hmm. which kind of leads to events. I like being around people, mm-hmm. bringing people together, just to have a good time. So as long as that's the main, um, the belly of whatever I'm doing, I'm happy to do it. So moving forward, just creating content and having good times with my friends, man. Yeah. That's literally how do you split? Sorry to cut you off, bro. How do you split your time? Because obviously, mentally, it must be tasking thinking about like, okay, I got these amount of tees or hoodies I need to sell today or need to ship out today. I've got an event dropping tomorrow, or I've got a podcast I need to do on Wednesday. Like, how do you manage all of this okay, on so a week by week basis or a day by day basis? So I have a base basic schedule. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday, I record three shots. Yeah. Nine p.m. till whatever time in the morning. Okay. I'm with Marvin Keith. Yeah. Friday or Saturday is faded. Okay. And then if I'm not going to that faded event, wherever, mm. then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is my family. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Daytime. Yeah. I'm with my daughter, I'm with my mom or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then after about nine, they go to bed and then I come out and I'm mm-hmm. out to play. Okay. That's how I look at it. That's the basic. Okay. If I get invited to events, mm-hmm. it has to fall on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Friday. Mm-hmm. Maybe a Monday. If not, I can't come. Okay. That's how I look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's something that I have to move, I remember I now have to contact Keith and Marv mm. to say, yo, that Tuesday I can't come. And then I need to find out what other part of the week they're available. Yeah. Then I need to find out if the, sta- the studio's available. Oh. The- the- yeah. <laughs> That's headache. Then if it's Saturday <laughs> yeah. or Sunday, I got to yeah. make sure I got childcare. Yeah. So for me, Tuesday. So any, yeah. all of these, that's why all of these award shows and screenings mm, and mm. cinema, you can't see me there if it's on a Tuesday. Mm. It's too much stress. I've got yeah. to move so much things around. And then I'm a single guy. Mm. I like to be around women. So, mm. so they've got to kind of adjust around there yeah, as well. Yeah. So a girl can call me Wednesday, 2 a.m. I'll be free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be free. Yeah, you Cause heard, I, yeah. Because I ain't got a Saturday. Yeah, I, I, can't, yeah, yeah. I can't give you a Saturday. Yeah. So sometimes it's hard because you got, there's some girls I would love to meet, but they do work nine to five. I'm like, yeah. where am I gonna meet you? Yeah. If it's not after work, your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm not skipping my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm not missing a Saturday or Sunday yeah. to come and see you. So yeah. if you don't fall on a Wednesday night, mm. but Wednesday night sometimes it's Champions League. So it's what I'm <laughs> saying. Wow. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so sometimes, <Priorities>. like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I might be like, yeah, babes, I come check you, yeah, but after 10 30, why yeah. 10 30? Why can't you come early? Are you watching Champions League <laughs> with me? <laughs> like, it's rough, man. So that's my basic Tuesday. Um, podcasting Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Friday, um, events, and then around it, everything just kind of fits in. Tony said that I sell full teas as if I'm a drug dealer, <laughs> and it's it's true because I, I don't have a campaign. I can't have a I can't have a plan. It's just I, I, Fam, I, to be fair. Every time you, to be fair, <laughs> your stories move bare drug dealerish. You, you, you know what I'm saying, but three it's hoodies like, here. here. It's like angle here. Yeah, yeah it's there. And there's always like a dodgy box for well, the hoodies. You'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah. People hit me up. <laughs> like, yeah, let me get let me get that one. I'm like, all right, cool, gone. That's sold. To be Yo, fair, two more. You um you posted one in your story, and I was like, bro, I like that one. I hold you straight away. I'll give me that one. And you're like, boom, boom, sort it, sort it, sort it. So yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's how I'm flogging it. But, <laughs> but it's like it, it's, it's easy for me to do it that way because right now, if someone came in and said, I can I can give you a structure, I was looking at them like, now nah, you're just trying to eat off me. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, working yeah, how yeah, it's yeah, working yeah. now. Yeah. But I do know I need to become a bit more professional with it. I get it. I'm very aware. But right now, it's working. If it's working right now, bro, it's working. And yeah. you don't, there is no middleman. You just me. Bro, just Gang, me. you're doing just it, G. You're doing it, bro. All right, I got one last question. We're going to move on to a dilemma in a minute. I got one last question because this is obviously podcasting is the bag. Podcasting has changed, mm. um, and you guys have been doing it for a minute. First question. <clears throat> so a lot of potentially, I think we've actually surprisingly got very different audiences. So for those who don't know, obviously you guys started in 2016. Before that, there was really not really anything not going on um, in this country anyway, and you guys uh, started something that obviously went big quick. What was it like for you? So obviously you explained the first day banged first few months banged live show started to bang what was it like for you or what difference did it make to you guys when spotify signed you 
Oh, the money. I yeah, mean, yeah. the content didn't change. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. Were very, we, were, we were very adamant that the content didn't change. But to be fair, as you get older, your content changes. Yeah, it grows. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Because um, I remember when we used to record in um, Radar and someone commented saying, is Taser seeing someone? Because the last three weeks of his content, he's not. he hasn't been as as typical as he would have been when yeah, he yeah, comes yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. about women. That like boisterous and that. But I was actually, I actually was seeing something. <laughs> I'm like, bro, oh, so they clock. you lot are that attentive. Oh, That's man. mad. So I started becoming more conscious about how I'm speaking on the pod and okay. stuff like that because you don't know who's listening and mm. da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm very conscious about dropping. I'd never really hardly ever drop names. Yeah. If I do, the person knows I'm talking about them. Any mm. stories I've shared about women, I've never said a name. Yeah, yeah, alias. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, alias. Always. I've never said a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes I even meet the person who's listened to the episode and they didn't even know I was talking yeah. about them. Yeah, 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 facts. So I'm very conscious about that. But just as, as we've grown, there's been moments where they've tried to cancel us for things I didn't know was offensive. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But then you learn once it hits the timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, The timeline's telling, boy. Oh, so, so this is offensive now? Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. cool. Not going to talk about that again. Um, so you just learn and grow. And I just hope that our listeners just offer us that grace yeah. that we're just human as well. We don't know what is in and what's not. We're all learning as well. So mm-hmm. it took us a while. And um, I've seen podcasts come, go through that sp- uh, situation where they're about to get canceled. They literally yeah. don't make it out the other side. Whereas we've right. gone through that cycle so yeah. many times. Brands don't want to work with you. Mm. Then they hollow you six months later. Oh, your numbers are still up. We want to work. So I, mean, I just kind of know the game now. So it's just yeah. like, all right, cool, whatever. So Spotify came along. Um, it's only after about two years in that we realized the only reason why Spotify actually accommodated us is because we were at BBC for six weeks. So oh, they saw okay. it as, right, if BBC can work with you, mm. yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, there's yeah, some yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. professionalism okay. there. So that was kind of like our entry okay. point. And then when we got into um, Spotify, big up Austin, actually. He's at, um, I think he's at Atlantic now. But he's the one that kind of facilitated that move. Okay. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, we were at Spotify for however many long. And then, yeah, we're not with them anymore. They decided to go down a different route, um, cut ties with them. But yeah, it was a good experience though. Nice little journey and yeah, they they looked after us, man. You were one of the first, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you right. were. They gave the, the one of the, when you, when you say one of the first, I say, as in, in our space, yeah. Mm. But obviously they had like the Amy Schumers and. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, but in yeah, our space. Yeah, 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 yeah. We managed yeah. to negotiate the first one, yeah. It was, it was right. actually, it was an interesting conversation because yeah. I didn't know what to expect. Mm, I can imagine. For sure, man. what to expect at all. That's buff. Mad, bro. Yeah, I'm gassed. Mad. Yeah, yeah, you guys really did the damn have, thing, boy. We have. tried, man. We tried, man. And um, obviously, the I, the plan was, because the okay, if I strip everything back, I can't speak for Marvin Keith when I say this as well. For me, podcasting, I just saw it as there's so much talent out there, and we don't get to see them mm-hmm. because we focus on what it is they're producing. Mm. So like when I say what they're producing, so like an actor, we only watch their movies. Mm. A musician, we only watch- Listen to their, listen to their music, sorry. Yeah, yeah. A footballer, we only watch them play football. Mm. But there's so much more to them. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I felt like podcasting was that space where they can actually come and sit be down themselves. and be themselves. Yeah. So that's what was kind of like, that's why a lot of our early guests, even though they might've been big in their fields, mm. a lot of them were our bridgings. Okay. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm introducing to my listeners, I know a wavy dude, listen to him. Mm. That's why Margs, for example, is one of our favorites. People refer to him as the fourth shot. Okay. Because he's essentially Marg's Mashtown, Gun Clap City, blah, mm. blah, blah. He's that guy. I'm mm. scared of him. Oh, my mm. God. But when you sit down with him, bruv, you'd love this guy. Mm. But people started seeing that more when he was doing Filthy and doing yeah, all of that yeah, stuff yeah, and doing yeah. the pod. And now he's got his own pod. You kind of see that, raw. this bear man has got personalities. Mm. So then imagine any, every, some random dude just come down and sit down. So that's kind of why I wanted to start podcasting, just to kind of share my stories and then let other people share, share their stories. Because well. we're not all just one dimensional. <clears throat> yeah, Facts. yeah, yeah. There's, very, there's, there's bare layers there's to layers all of us. To so. us. Yeah, man. Gang. Say less. That was a that was a really good origin story, my bro. Thank it you. was paying. It was actually better than it I thought. Was, it was yeah, a lot better than I thought. There's nothing there that makes me a villain, though, is there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you support? Because you're talking about Champions League. Football team. Yeah. yeah. Liverpool. Oh, yeah, I think we've had this discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool. Danny Dyer bruv, season, bruv, bro. Fuck, what can I, what, it happens, man. Why Liverpool though, bro? My dad supported them. I'm assuming my dad supported them because of John Barnes. You oh. know, like a black man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Arsenal fans started with, uh, you're right. Yeah, to be fair, to yeah, be fair, yeah. you're so right, you're right, you're I right. I think my dad went the Liverpool route. I okay. could have been an Arsenal fan, who knows? Okay, say less. But anyway, we're gonna wrap up the show with a little game, right? right. Everyone knows the game, it's called Finish the Lyrics. So yeah, here's how the rules go. 
Rem's gonna give us a. Rem's gonna give us a. Um, obviously, you're an old school R and B connoisseur. Oh uh, so yeah. This, yeah, this, we're this, gonna this, keep it. This should be in your light bag. for you. This should be hella light for you. Yeah? Hopefully. Um. So uh, Rem's gonna give us a ten second timer. After I say the first bar, you got ten seconds to either complete the bar or complete however many lyrics you want to complete. Right, cool. You get one point for a correct bar, and you get three points for the bar as well as giving me the um, artist and the song name. Okay, cool. Yeah. Considering you are the first person to play this game. The pressure is on because yeah, you, yeah, 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 you, you need to set the president. Yeah, because right. you can't have next man come in here and, and just double double it. your score. Yeah, do you know <laughs> what I mean? So the pressure's on. All right, cool. Yeah. So we're just gonna do a little tester mm -hmm. to see where your, to your, see where your levels at. at. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm outside in the AMG. What? Failed. What? Failed. 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 failed you don't failed. know the lyrics to this one. Failed. 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 On the test, like. Failed. Failed. Yeah, this is gonna what go badly. What song is I that? I don't know what song that is. I'm outside in, in the AMG, AMG right outside TT, two turn baby girl, you know. know me. To be fair, it's not old school R&B. I know, I know that? that's not a bar, I was just that's, testing, because that's just recent. Bro. What song is that though? Drake, bro. What song? I don't know what song's called. Time, Time flies. flies. Thank you, I bro. heard that song. You've not. You've heard that I song. I heard that song, bro. bro. I got to you. Heard, you've heard that song, bro. You've heard the song, bro. Wow. I heard Drake, Time Flies, bro. You've heard the song, bro. Dark Lane demo tapes. I didn't like that tape. I didn't ask if you liked it, brother. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's, fine. that's fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Jesus. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, know, I know where I know where this is going. But yeah. you get uh, the context. Say less. Say less. Say less. All right. All right. You, who's a, going first? You going first? I'll go first. All right. Say less. Say less. Say less. <clears throat> Excuse the voice. I'm just I'm a, bit, I'm a bit croaky. Yeah? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Barry White. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Rem, you got the timer ready? Yeah. Cool. You ready? Taze, you ready? All right. This shit was all I knew. You and me only. Hey. I did it all for you. Hey. But still, you can't. Uh, hey. hey. And we can work it out. What else? Hey. Because ain't shit changed. Hey. Hey. Nah, 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 nah. Come oh, on. What's the song? Yeah, tell me. I don't, know, I don't need you to say. Okay, uh, Drake, Timberland, say something. Gang. Wow. Facts. Yeah. Was three that three points, points in the bag. Yeah. Say yeah. less. Yeah. Thank yeah. God for that. Yeah, three yeah. points yeah. in the bag. All right, you go. I'm up, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> all right, cool. Um, all right. She made us drinks to drink. Mm -mm -mm. And then I, oh, she on. thinks I'm cool. Ooh. She gave me a wink. I, I winked back. back. Come on. And then hey. I, whatever the lyrics. Hey. And then we, I don't know the lyrics, but um, T Pain Bartender. Okay. Gang. Okay. Say that, say that, say that, say that. Was that six points? We'll give him that. We'll give him that. Yeah, six yeah he did enough. <clears throat> all right. When I'm with somebody, all I think about is you. So you say that again? Fam, I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> when I'm with somebody, all I think about is you. Should, no. I, should I give you the second? Yeah. I'm going to deduct a point. That's fine. When I'm on alone, that's all I want to do. Nah. I miss the smiley faces in my side chick. At a time, did this all the nah, time has been together. Still. No. Makes it hard to get, get you out, out of my system. system. You don't know what you do to me. Do to you know me. Song, bro. You don't even you understand. Know Damn. <coughs> wow. Wow. Pain. Oh, no. You know the song, brother. I know the song. I don't know the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. You know the sorry. song, brother. <laughs> it's it's retro. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows the song, brother. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. The first one, I was like, "Wow, yeah, what song yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, what song you know is what that?" Yeah. The second one, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the first one. I was like, "He's hit me." <laughs> All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, let's go for. Um, oh, I'm actually. You know what? I actually had one. Mm. I was gonna go Chicago freestyle. But this guy doesn't know the oh, fucking yeah, yeah. demo tapes. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm just going to allow him on that one. Okay. I'm going to go for another one mm. for redeem yourself. All right. <clears throat> I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you gone. Show me the special for you to feel when you're home. We can always be together, baby. That's what you told me. And I believe it because I ain't never had nobody hey. to be like. Hey, come, come on. 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 Bow Wow. Um, is it a Marian? No. Nah. Nah. Bow Wow and who? Female. Come Sierra. On. Yes. yes What's bro? the song Come on. Like you. Kang. Gang. Let's go. All right. All right. Cool. Say less. Sure. That's nine go. points. <laughs> That's nine points. Now, nine out of 12. All right. Cool. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Vato, you won't believe what I saw. Banger in it. Banger in it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Banger in it. I don't know the name of this song. I don't know what tune this is. Taser. I don't know what tune this is. Taser. Oh. I said Vato. 
battle. You, you won't believe what I saw. Up. I saw these pack of guys and, and they, they act, act real hard. And what they do? It's just the biggest thing. You know who we are. He said, I don't give a fuck. I'm Snoop Doggy Dog. He twisted his fingers and he went too hard. So Snoopy, he went straight to the trunk of his car. And what did he get? He got his gun and he started running hard. What song is it? He started firing and then he just jogged. It's called Vato, bro. Run, run. Snoop Dogg, you've never oh heard Vato. Yeah. You have, brother. Yeah, matting, 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 matting. This Banger. is shocking. Wow. Banger, so, in it. Let's, Banger. Let's go. First of all, I'm I'm going to vouch for Taze in this one. You're not doing old school, old school R&B in the slightest. <laughs> How is Vato in old school? It's not R&B. R &B. Yeah, it's not R&B. It's old school. Regardless, it's an old school track, bro. It's, that, man. it's an old school track. You promised him R&B. I, I promise you old school. It's the same, same. I said you're an old school head. Yeah, no, Vato, no. All right, say less. You have All to right. run Vato with your next, your next thing. Trust me, you'll see the crowd. All right, cool. You'll see the crowd react. All right, cool. Um, Scrub is a guy that thinks he's blind. Also known as a buster. Mm. Always think about what he got. And he's still, mm -mm, mm -mm. so no. no, I don't want your number. No, no. I don't want to, TLC, on. no scrubs. Say less. Gang, come on. <clears throat> I provide everything you need and I, Got some questions and I gotta ask him. Uh, something, 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 to something, to something. So I don't need to go. I'm gonna answer, baby girl. Is it easy to love me now? What else? Gang. Hey, hey. would you love me if I was down? down? What else? Come on. And Ow, out. Come else? on. Would you still hey, have love for me, girl? Yeah. Fifty cent. Twenty-one questions. Let's go. Featuring. Featuring. Come on. You're singing the person that's singing right now. You think Fifty Cent is singing that? Who's singing that? You it's know. 50 Cent singing that. Nah, brother, it's not 50 singing that. The hook? Cent. Wait, the part that you just said, yeah, that yeah. is 50 Cent, no? It's Nate Dog, bro. Oh, my <laughs> days. <laughs> Bob, I've never seen 21 Questions um, written featuring Nate Dog. Bro, you were just talking about Nate Dog last week in your podcast as well. I don't mean to do dread. that. <laughs> dread, 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 wow. dread. He's got the scoop. But I had lay low in He's my mind. He's got the scoop. Dog, Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg lay low is what I had in my mind. Ah, wow, wow, wow. All right, what have I got? Ah, oh, easy one. It's five in the morning. I don't actually know the lyrics though. Wow. I know it's five in the morning. You know what's five in the morning? No, he knows know, the know he knows the part. lyrics. I thought he meant that's the name of the song. No, 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 no. that part. Okay. Goes, uh, 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 I know what he's saying. Uh, 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 pretty Ricky, pretty Ricky on the hotline. Say less. Say less. But I don't actually know what he says after five in the morning. Right, that's calm, man. Give me two calm, points. Calm, calm. Give me two points for that. All right. Right. I got one more. How many you got? I've got one more as well. All right. Say less. Go on. I was checking this girl next door when her parents were now chief on said, "Hey, boy." Something, something, something. <laughs> 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 the thing is, I know the song. Oh, it's gonna bug me. Say hey, boy. Oh, what song is this? And if you're the main chicken, you can't say hey. Oh, that's a kid's name. Oh, that's a kid's name. Oh, that's a kid's name. What's the song? What's the timer saying, bro? Man singing. What is this? The whole song. Oh, that's a kid's name. 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 Oh, that's a Listen, <laughs> nah, Craig David, sorry, man. Craig David, feel me in. <laughs> Say less. You got two points if you didn't get any feel... lyric. Do you know what's Bro, mad? I'm, it was in my head. Do you know what's I'm so mad about Craig David, yeah? I know his songs. I don't know the lyrics. Mm -hmm. The only song that I know the lyrics to, for some weird reason, is um, the one where he goes to the barbershop. Seven Days? Yeah. Seven, seven Days, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the song, but yeah. it's, it's like you got to play it. So I listen to it passively. Mm. But like actually intent, nah. Do Santana Little Wayne? <laughs> I'm dead. Say less. Drake minus Dark Dark Lane demo tapes. Yeah. Yeah, Say you less. To, you need to listen to that tape, bro. Right. Well, I've got one more. Um, oh, easy. Every time I try to leave. Santa keeps calling me back. Pulling me back. Chingy pulling me back. There you go. Let's go. Featuring. If you're bad. It's not even if you're bad. That's basic. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. But he didn't get, yeah, yeah, he didn't true, get Nate Dogg. True. <laughs> so it is if you're bad. 
What's his on the tune? Come on, brother. You think Chingy's singing that? He's not singing it. No, I'm not. But back in the day, R&B, they didn't do the features. They did, bro. This one is definitely the feature, bro. He's in the video. He's, 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 in, the... he's in the video more than Chingy's in the yeah. video. Pull it back. Sing the chorus to yourself, brother. Who's singing it? Because it's not Chingy. <laughs> it's not Chingy. Who's singing it? Deep down, close your eyes. Who's singing it? <laughs> Picture the video. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, my mind's gone blank. Tyrese, Tyrese bro. Tyrese, brother. Ty yes, yes. Yeah, your mind was gonna say yeah, Tyrese. Yeah, he was gonna say aggressive with it. <laughs> aggressive with it. Say less. Yeah, how, yeah. how many points do you get? I'm just doing it for that. We're giving it. We'll give him one for that. We'll give him one for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seventeen total. Seventeen. Wait, hold on. Oh, one, because I didn't say Tyrese. Yeah, but you didn't get any lyric. Yeah, he, 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 he. Oh, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, too. Sorry, sorry. Give him two points. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen points. Eighteen. Out of how many was it? 24. 10 is a 30, 30, 30 points. So 30. That's terrible. 18 out of 30. Jesus, it's the game, is the game, right, bro. It's all right. It's, it's nice but I, I think it's, it's going to be very middle pack yeah. by the yeah. end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. clock it up. End of the year, it's going to be very middle pack. 18 out of 30. Well done, Taser. Thank you for coming on. Thank um, you for having me, man. Yeah, man. Just what's your social? Shout out your socials, man. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be popping up here. It's going to be in the description below. But Taser Black on Instagram, mm. Taser Black on TikTok, and. Yeah, just check out the R&B and Slow Jam experience featuring yeah, Chucky, myself and Chucky, uh, slow-jams.co.uk. Gang. Uh, yeah. Gang, and thank you for coming on, bro. Four T's. Four T's, yeah, man. All the descriptions, all the links and everything will be descriptions below. All the handles and everything will be descriptions displaying right now. So, yeah, man. Thank you for coming on. And as always, guys. Love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs>